Well, good morning, good afternoon, or good evening. I am Charles D. Coach Wilson. And, um, you know, from time to time, I like to share a few things. Today, um, actually yesterday, I was doing some reflection. I was thinking about a conversation that I had with my number one fan, my mama. <laughs> and um, anyway, she was uh, sharing with me some information from my grandfather. Uh, my grandfather, God rest his soul, Robert Pete Pitts, they called him Cousin Pete, um, from uh, Auburn, Alabama. And um, I wanted to just share with y'all some, some, some of that old school wisdom, um, some of that down country wisdom, you know, where people say things and, you know, you just got to reflect on them to just really start gathering the meaning. And so the thing that uh, my mother shared with me, and she shared this with me a while ago, but I don't know, for some reason, um, yesterday, last couple of days, I've been thinking about this advice that she shared with me. And she shared with me that you want to bend a tree while it's a sap. Um, a sap is like a little baby tree, a sapling. And so you want to bend the tree while it's a sapling. And, you know, it may seem obvious but it's easier to bend a tree while it's a sap. I'm going to give you another um, example of that. Um, uh, I'll share a, a biblical uh, verse that could probably go somewhat hand in hand with that phrase. And it's simply this, uh, train up a child in the way that he should go. And the whole concept about this is to train them when they're young, to bend the tree while the tree is young. And so how does this apply to you as an adult? Um, it can apply in a, in a myriad of different ways and in a lot of different situations. So the first thing I'm gonna talk about is relationships. So sometimes, you know, you look at relationships, whether they be uh, male-female relationships, whether they be business relationship, maybe they're um, friendly relationships, you know, a relationship between two friends. It is so paramount that you bend the tree while it's a sap. That means address problems, that means address issues, that mean address concerns at the beginning of the relationship. As when you first, and not even just at the beginning of the relationship, but when you first see something that you disagree with um, or something that you don't like, you want to bend the tree while it's a sap. And, you know, how that pertains to when you're dealing with, with people and relationships and whatnot is because as time goes on, then habits start to form. It's easier to create a new habit than to break an old one, um, because to break it, to, to, to change an old habit, you literally got to break it, you know, to, to set a relationship straight after it's been going awry for a long amount of times, you literally got to break the relationship to get it right. And, and in a lot of cases, you know, when you break stuff, you can't put it back together. But if you bend it while it's a sap, then it has more flexibility. Um, it can be molded. It can be formed to go a certain way. You know, I want you to picture this. If you ever go down, drive down the street and you see a tree and it's got three or four poles around it with um, like wires attached to it, that's designed to hold the tree straight up. And the reason why they do this is because if not, when the tree comes out of the ground, it might bend to the left, it might bend to the right, it might bend back, it might bend forward. Um, and so as it grows, that could become a problem. You know, it might bend back towards your house and as it grows, it can literally grow right into your house. You know, but if you bend it while it's a sap, it's much easier to do that because if you wait till it's a fully grown tree, now you got to cut the tree to keep it from growing into your house when it starts to get, get close. You got to cut the tree. 
you know, and, and let's say you want to save the tree. There's a whole long, arduous process that you have to go through to save the tree because you did not bend it while it was a sap. And usually that requires breaking something. You might have to, to unearth the core, the tree and replant it. Um, but if the tree is growing crooked, if the tree is growing, leaning the wrong way, chances are the only way you're going to get it straight is you're going to have to break something. And when you break something, it does a, it does a lot of damage. Let's say, you know, you just got to break the tree, right? Um, when you break the tree, and even if it continues to grow, there's always going to be that damaged spot on the tree where it was broken, right? And so it might survive after you break it and, and, and um, put a lot of stress and pressure on it and tension uh, for a long enough time to get it to grow the right way. That, that may be able to happen, but it's, it's a long process. It's a painful process. It's a difficult process. And so when I was thinking about these words that my mother shared with me a while ago, bend a tree while it's a sap, you know, yesterday when I was reflecting on it, it just showed me how many different ways this can be applied. This can even be applied when it comes to business. So you want to get your business right while it's young. You don't want the business to grow and grow. And then you realize that there's a problem. And now you got to go back over all of those years of doing things incorrectly and fix it. Bend the tree while it's a sap. Fix things early. Fix things in the beginning. Fix things as soon as you know there's a problem. Because if you don't, you're setting yourself up for greater pain, greater struggle, greater heartache. And some things in order to fix, fix them for you, you got to totally break it. And once you break it, you might not be able to put it back together again. So I hope some, I hope this helps somebody. I hope this, this helps you get right. I hope this gives you a different approach on how to address issues and problems. And I hope most importantly, that it gives you a sense of urgency to address these things in the beginning. Bend the tree while it's a sap. Just reflecting on some words of wisdom from my mama passed on to her through my grandfather, uh, my grandpa Pitts. Um, again, my name is Charles, the Coach Wilson. Hope you got something from this. I'll talk with you later. Bye for now.